In this video, we're going to work through setting a screen lockout policy using the Screensaver Group Policy object. This is going to be for domain joined workstations. Let's get started. In this particular scenario, we're going to be working with a Windows Server 2012 R2 domain controller and a Windows 7 client. And with this particular policy, we're actually going to configure the Windows 7 client to lock out to the Control Alt Delete screen rather than using a specific screensaver. So we're going to want to start on our Windows Server 2012 R2 domain controller here. So we're going to go to Tools and we're going to fire up the Group Policy Management Console. And here we are, we have our Group Policy Management Console. Just a little bit about our domain here, so it's btslab.com. Very, very simple domain, it's just for a lab purpose, just to demonstrate these various settings that we're undertaking. So you can see we've got a PCs OU, servers OU and a, a staff OU. So let's expand our group policy objects out. Let's create a new one and we're going to call this screen lockout policy. And click OK. And let's edit our screen lockout policy then. So right click edit. Just maximize that screen. And we're going to be looking at a user configuration policy here. So we'll go to user configuration, expand policies, administrative templates, control panel, and look at the personalization. So the various settings that we're going to be looking at here are do actually relate to the screensaver. However, as I previously said at the start of the video, we're just going to want to set our screen lockout to essentially lock out to the control alt delete screen and not actually actually display a screensaver as such. However, these are the settings that we're going to use to, to do this. So the first one we're going to look at is enable screensaver. So this is this one right here. So we're going to double click on this one and we're going to select enable at the radio button there. Click apply and OK. The second one we're going to look at is password protect the screensaver. So it's this one right here, password protect the screensaver, we're going to double click on that one and we're going to select enable, apply and OK. The third one that we're going to have a look at is the screensaver timeout, which is this one right here. We're going to double click on this one and we're going to click enable. And here we can see the seconds for which uh, the screensaver is, is going to, to lock out. Now for our testing purposes I'm going to drop this right down to 60. Drop a six, six zero in there. So for testing purposes we can obviously see in a shorter amount of time that this has actually taken effect. Apply and OK. So the last one we're going to have a look at and importantly is the four specific screensaver. This one right here. Now this is the actual policy that is going to allow us to lock out to the control alt delete screen and there's a specific parameter that we've got to, got to actually put in here. So we're going to enable this policy and then in the screensaver executable name we're going to put this command in. So that's run dll32 space user 32.dll comma lock workstation. We're going to apply and OK that. And those are the settings for what we need. So we can go ahead and close down the group policy editor. And now we're going to link the, the group policy object to our staff OU. So just selecting the staff OU, right click, link an existing GPO, and we're going to select our screen lockout policy. Now as this is a user specific policy. It's going to apply at the staff level and it's going to apply to all authenticated users. So we're just going to double check what and who we've got in in that specific OU. So we're going to go back to our server manager, we're going to go to tools and we're going to have a look in active directory users and computers. And under the staff OU there, we don't have anybody currently in there. So we're just going to quickly add somebody in. So here we are. Here's my account. And I'm just going to drag him straight over to staff. Yes, we want to move the object. And back into staff and Adam Couch. Perfect. 
Right, now we're going to hop over to our Windows 7 client and have a look at the changes. So over on our Windows 7 client here, we're going to want to validate our settings. So the first thing we're going to do is right click on the desktop, click on personalize, and then click on the screensaver. Perfect, so we can see the screensaver options here are greyed out. So the screensaver is actually none because we're locking out to the control delete screen and the wait period is one minute. Excellent, so we're going to click OK there, click on the cross, and just to further validate our settings, I'm just going to type CMD and we're going to type GP result space slash R. Excellent. So the user settings there, applied group policy objects, screen lockout policy. And then to further test our policy, I'm going to pause the video. We're going to wait one minute and see if uh, the screen locks out. Excellent, and there we have it, our locked out screen. Thanks for watching.